what is up guys welcome back to another new video in this video i'm going to showing you the in-depth features of the msi dragon center if in case you are having the msi laptop you already know the msi dragon center is available in your laptop and each and every company is having its own uh, different types of uh, configuration centers and sometimes it will say like gaming centers or performance improvement centers in different types of uh, laptops in asus we're having in dell also i think we're having when it comes to the msa we're having the msa dragon center in this video i'm showing you the different scenarios in depth what it actually works and where you can actually use this so the msa dragon center logo looks like this uh, and also i'm sharing the screen recording too here so this is the msa dragon center just click open and uh, here you can see an option called user scenario just click on it and here you can see the uh, five options uh, which include one of the extra option i will share in a bit first when it comes to the, this thing is extreme performance of course it says the best performance you will get uh, when it comes to the triple title games as well as even you are uh, doing video editing or many graphic related stuff this feature is really helpful for you and if you click on this setting icon you can actually customize these things that is the uh, beauty of this one and you can actually increase or decrease the uh, clock offset of the core as well as even you can increase or decrease the ram frequency like um, how much uh, clock offset you can you want sorry in gpu i'm telling not uh, specifically and also even you're having one option called cooler booster if you turn on this just listen how much noise my laptop will make so be uh, if you, in case you are wearing your headphones just lower your volume in three two one So yeah this is how actually it uh, looks like so extreme performance is powerful and uh, this is the best setting if in case you want for gaming or video editing or maybe if you in case you're using heavy stuff like that so extreme performance i recommend you and also if in case you want or you don't want you can actually turn or off the cooler booster of the i mean the fans but in extreme performance i recommend to use the fan too oftenly because it performs very high a lot of heat is generated by the cpu as well as gpu to cool cool down this this cooler poster is really helpful for you so this is all about the extreme performance and when it comes to the on what time you use this one as i told earlier you can use this one for gaming video editing and any heavy intensive task next is balanced guys as the name suggests it balances the thing you will get the good uh, performance as well as the battery but in balanced mode i never seen a good battery backup in my laptop and even i do the battery calibration also which i already posted previously if in case you missed that one the link is in description box you must watch that video you will get a good idea what is battery calibration and how to do in msa laptops after watching this video this balanced mode yes it gives some good performance but when it comes to the battery i don't think so it will really help so you cannot customize the uh, settings in this balanced mode and of course if you want you can turn or off the fan by clicking the button on the side of your power button on your msa laptop or in case you were having any customizable buttons for turning or off the cooler booster i mean the fan you can do it with balanced mode also not only in balanced mode in any of the modes you can actually do by manually or automatically next thing is silent mode this is like only only one feature in this silent mode is it lowers the fan noise and some people like to uh, do their work in a close packed environment and they don't want any of the background sounds on that time it is really helpful for you personally i use mostly extreme performance and silent mode too oftenly and when it comes to the battery performance as the um, fan noise is decreased i mean the fan speed is minimum the battery is also really good in this one i really think the balanced mode is not good when it comes to the battery backup i mean performance uh, in silent mode you will get good uh, what did you say performance as well as the battery i think they need to shift the uh, names here so yeah in silent mode also you cannot turn on or off the fan automatically but manually you can turn it on or off 
and next thing is it's a super battery as you already know the super battery you know is available in your mobiles too it actually lowers the power consumption for basic needs that is the main uh, backup of this one and if in case you are traveling or you don't have any charger with you you can turn it on the super battery but in gaming laptops i don't think so the super battery will really helps if i turn on the super battery the battery is drained faster than the normal mode i i think that is the thing i noticed each and every time when i turn on so if in case you are also facing do let me know in the comment section below so this is the battery and this one is really helpful if in case you want the good battery and finally it is a user you can actually customize this thing guys see you can customize the performance level what is the performance you want in performance you can see we're having four different performance levels turbo high medium and low you can check whatever you like and speed also fan speed also you can check advanced or cooler booster or uh, auto in advanced mode the fan will run slowly but when it comes to the cooler booster the fan moves at maximum speed this is the maximum pump it will do so in advanced it's good and also we're having one settings icon here if you click on the settings icon you can actually customize the gpu and cpu where the fan speed i mean the fan will actually turn on see the thing is it's like simple x axis and y axis x is like temperature and y is the speed i mean fan speed if the temperature is somewhere you will see here max it won't reach guys because the cooler booster will helps you so you can actually customize the fan speed how much do you want based upon the uh, rise of temperature in your cpu as well as even in gpu also you can customize it and this is a very good option actually you can customize whatever you like so these are the different types of things you can save or even if you want you can make it as default too so these are the five different scenarios in msi laptops so finally at a glance i will tell in which scenario these are very useful first when it comes to the extreme performance if you are doing for video editing or gaming or heavy intensive task this extreme performance is really helpful for you and second thing is balanced mode this mode is kind of different uh, for some laptops guys in my laptop the balanced mode uh, cannot pump the i mean cannot save the battery it doesn't balances the battery as well as the performance performance is good but the battery is draining too fast in balanced mode and next one is silent mode as the name shows it is silent the fan speed is very minimal if you turn on the silent mode and next one is super battery of course it's worthless just for the sake of option it is available if you turn on this the maximum performance of your laptop will uh, like 25 percent you will get out of 100% only in like percentage i'm telling i'm not very good at these math calculations so the next thing is user and in user you can actually customize the temperature fan speed and uh, the fan rpm also you can uh, customize it based upon the temperatures your laptop is reaching so these are the five different options in msi dragon center you can actually customize these scenarios guys so this is all about the video i hope you liked it if yes don't smash that like button so that it would be recommended for so many people like you and also i posted some of the videos which include the battery calibration click here and if you want the same like battery calibration in samsung mobiles below is the video for you and this is the recent upload of my video and below is the video that youtube is recommending many of the people like you are watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button as usual my name is Shekhar. you're watching tech bunny and i will catch you in the next one bye bye